This video is going to be about video backgrounds in Bootstrap Studio and this has uh, been a popular question over the time I've been on about Bootstrap Studio. Um, I've always shied away from it because of uh, megabytes and slow internet connections and stuff like that and it still applies but anyway I think this is new in the new version of um, Bootstrap Studio about video parallax backgrounds okay. So I've got it on here and I've installed it, okay, but you would have to, if you haven't got it already um, in Bootstrap Studio, go on, online for it and just um, search through the online ones and you come and just put video in and it comes to the par uh, parallax background and there's two, there's a video parallax background of a V2 which is slightly different but just uh, I'm just going to use this one as a demonstration, okay. <clears throat> So just popping that in there and uh, what happens is, uh, sorry we can't find this resource, okay I'll just go to preview and start that again, alright, and this should come up, yeah, okay, right, uh, you see the heading in the paragraph you can put in there and you see this attractive girl. Um, notice that it's not very long. This video is, is very, very short and it's on a loop, okay? So there's your smile, back to the beginning, and then, you know, a few seconds later, again, it's like that type of thing. It's on a, just on a, a constant loop. So, what that is, is that if we close that and you just uh, go to convert to HTML, okay, and really want your own um, video in and these are always best to be very very short and you know we're talking about as less megabytes as possible and they don't have to be the best quality okay so what we um, see here okay is this address here okay and this is the source of the uh, of this video okay so just copy and we're going to um control v there and we'll see this video okay as it's online okay so we see that there now and that's where it is okay so just stop that so what happens if you want to use your own well the on the design part on here on the right hand side it doesn't have any um, any function for videos so what you're going to have to do is put a video do a video um, as I say uh, probably about seven or eight megabytes at maximum and what I've always thought about these is like you know you can do it on a computer but when it comes on the mobile phone um, you know just do an image that is but I'm going to do it like where it's all video. So if you see this um, with this young lady, you know, that's what you'll see. And it actually plays as well. Okay, so we're going to do it as a video. So there's no function here for video, which would make it so much easier. But anyway, what I'm going to do is this here is Time Lapse of the Stars, which is just a very short video I have. Okay, and what I've done is I've just downloaded that there from Flickr. If I did it directly, it wouldn't quite work as how I wanted, okay? So we just, um, there's actually music in there as well, but you have to do it as muted loop. Okay, so, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. right, I did this as a, a demonstration just to see what happens. Um, right, I'll just take the stars out, okay? And I'll show you how exactly it's going to, going to go down. So we just delete these here. All right. So what we're going to do is just take this, right? This I'll just zoom in there. If that's zoomed in. Not sure. Yeah. Okay. So just take that away, the source code of the previous video with the girl in. So we're just going to put star, stars. Okay, right. Well, that's not going to play because, as I say, 
there's no function on the right hand side in the design part for video and I think they need it really. Okay, so what we have here, again, next to where the stars is, is we have video muted loop. So what that basically means is it's going to be muted and it's on a loop. Okay, but we need some more controls in this because if we just did that, um, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't play. So what we need is just to go back into this and I'll show you what's on here. So if you look at this, uh, if you inspect, so right click inspect, this is on Google Chrome now. And you have um, video controls auto play name equals video. So what we're going to do in there is where it's the muted loop. And I'll go in here because this might be a bit confusing for you. So you go controls auto play equals media. Just media quotation marks there. Okay, so apply that. So I know this could be a bit confusing to people, um, you know, so if you have any questions once you've watched the video and still find this difficult, just get back to us as always. Okay, so I don't think I've missed anything out there. So uh, control autoplay, I think that's exactly how I want. Okay, on here, on the, on the um, preview, there's not going to be anything there again because there's no function in the design part for video so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do export and we're going to go into uh, the video i've just made that uh, this here uh, in this folder videos okay so we're just going to select that folder and we're going to export that okay now the design is exported in this, what I've done, um, I've just put in the, the source, uh, where the source is, which I've just put a stars.mp4. If you're putting it in a folder in, I'll just show you this. If you're putting it in one of the folders in, say for assets, you would have to put assets uh, forward slash, uh, you know, wherever you wanted to put it. But the way I'm going to do it is just straight into the video uh, videos folder there so that would suffice for that um, so if we just put index and see what happens here all right hopefully this is going to work yeah okay so that's not the greatest resolution any uh, you know ever because of what it is um, it really is only meant for a small thing like that but this is uh, this is how you do the backgrounds and that as you see was only a few seconds long um, and that's basically what you do but again it's on a loop okay um, with the heading and the paragraph there I mean like sort of all you do with with that is it's very simple and here you would be changing the heading say for uh, night time with night time with the stars whatever and you just apply that and the same with paragraph i mean you put whatever you want in in the paragraph as a description and things like that so that's basically how you would do um your video backgrounds in bootstrap studio so again i hope that uh, someone's found this helpful um and with internet speeds and mobiles and things like that you know i say it as like a worldwide thing whereas like as you know the uk doesn't have great speeds but there's other places where they have less uh fast speeds so you, you've got to look at what your market is and who's going to watch that video um i know australia as well you would think with developed countries and things like that that these places would have fast internet where they don't really look you know you, you've got to you know see um about like sort of some things you've got to the resolution shouldn't be that great even if the video is poor but your message is good that's uh you know you, you can you know you can tweak a lot of things okay so again thanks for watching and as as i say i hope someone's found this helpful